Hi guys, um, my name is Devroy Davis and welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Stock Price. So for this episode, um, what I'm basically going to be doing is actually introducing you guys to one of the investing games that I actually like to play. This one was developed by Robert Kiyosaki who is the founder and president of the Rich Dad Company. The game is called Cash Flow and it's one of those games that are actually being used to teach financial literacy and investing. In this episode what I'm going to be basically doing is carrying you through the online version of the game and then we're going to actually play a round of it. I'll be using one of my own strategies, the capital gains strategy for escaping the rat race which is the first aim of the game and then to achieve my financial goals and um, if you guys are interested then the link to actually participate in the game is actually in the description um, if you guys like the video be sure to click that thumbs up button and press that subscribe button um, then let's get into it all right so this is a cash flow game um if you guys want to play it then you can go to richdad.com forward slash classic and it will take you to this page which is a home page of the game now to begin you're going to be you're just going to click anywhere on the screen and that will take you to this page where you're going to set up a new game room now you'll be able to see other games that you can join but since this is a a demonstration game I'm going to basically be playing against the computer all right so I'm going to click to create a new game room I'm going to call it devroid as one player and I'm going to click create here I'm going to change the name from best you pro to Devroid and begin game okay so it then takes you to this page right where you're able to see um, the rat race which is this circular um, part of the board as well as a fast track that's this part of the board now the first thing they ask you to do is to actually select your dream um, for me, I typically select this dream, which is the preset one that is showing right now, which is a stock market game for kids. Um, quick side note, CVI is actually develop a stock, developing a stock market game, but not just for kids, for everyone. Um, that will be launched like in the next coming um, few months. We'll definitely be putting out a video on that when it is ready. Um, but that's the dream that I normally choose if I'm not choosing this one then normally I choose the research center dream um, which is just give me a second I'll just navigate to that one so either I'm choosing the stock market game for kids or I'm choosing this dream which is to build a research center for cancer and AIDS so um, because one of my ultimate dreams is to actually build a research and development center in the Caribbean then I typically choose this dream but as you all know I also believe very strongly in financial literacy so hence CVI um, I'm going to go back though to select the stock market game for kids as the dream for this demonstration so the strategy I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the capital gain strategy and I'm using the capital gain strategy particularly because that one uses the primary vehicle for escaping the rat race as the stock market. So how the strategy basically works is we build up a lot of cash by trading in the stock market and then we use all of that liquidity or all of that cash all of those funds all of that money to purchase income producing businesses or real estate and that's a simple um, mechanism of the strategy um, for 
for this simulation you can see that it's already preset with uh, my profession as well as my starting salary and my amount that I have in savings for a more detailed view of this you can select the financial statement which is right here and it will give you a full idea of what our financial position is so I'm going to click choose here and what I'm going to do now is to actually assess my financial position by looking at my personal financial statement quick side note if you guys want you can actually download a Excel or a PDF version of this sheet from bestupro.com which is my other website um, and the link to that will be in the description below so let's now take a look at the personal financial statement we can see here that our income currently is derived solely from our job which is that of a mechanic so our mechanic salary is two thousand um, dollars or we have no real estate or businesses our expenses are as follows we have taxes of three hundred and sixty dollars a home mortgage payment of three hundred dollars car loan payment of sixty dollars credit card payment of sixty dollars retail payment of fifty dollars and other expenses of four hundred and fifty dollars all told our total expense is one thousand two hundred and eighty dollars at the moment we have six hundred and seventy dollars in savings so that's why our cash is at six hundred and seventy dollars and at the end of every payday we get a net seven hundred and twenty dollars which is just the difference of our total income and our expenses looking at the balance sheet part of the um, financial statement you see where we have our assets and right now we have no assets um, here their assets are divided into either stock funds certificates of deposits or real estate or businesses um, for those of you who know there are there is a there are different asset classes and we actually have an article that talks about why one asset class is not particularly advantageous over another again that link will be in the description but the assets are either um, paper assets which would include stocks bonds mutual funds um, commodities such as gold or silver real estate or businesses so those are the four types of assets that we consider in the business world and then for liabilities notice here that according to rich dad your home or your mortgage is a liability so are your car loans credit cards retail debt and you may also end up with re real estate or business liabilities as we go through the cash flow game you will see different examples of these and I will explain where necessary okay so once again let me just say what the strategy is the strategy in using the capital gains method of escaping the rat race is basically to build up our cash reserves to being say around five thousand dollars using that money to buy stocks cheaply staying in the small um, deals type of business until we're able to sell those stocks at say um, a multiple of what we bought them for and then using that um, increased amount of liquidity to purchase income producing real estate or cash flow producing businesses so you will notice also that I will spend no time trying to clear my current liabilities my only goal in employing this strategy is going to be building up my assets in terms of um, stocks right now and then in the latter part of the strategy to um, liquidate those stocks to actually buy real estate or invest in businesses so with that said um, I'm going to end part one of the video here and then when we come back we're going to actually start rolling the dice to actually play the game